Hey guys, we're back for part two of my GTA 3 Let's Play. And we're going to my new friend Luigi. Who conveniently will hate me at, by the halfway, no, the one third way for the game? I don't know. Don't spank my bitch up. Spank is mentioned a lot in this game. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. They're going to learn is about combat now. So we, I bought my own. Oh, I'll take another bat. It'd be so cool if you could dual wield them. And the great thing about let's play in this game, guys, is if I don't come up with commentary, you've got the music to listen to. No need for the bat. I bought my car. Right, this is a pretty cool car. It's really slow and useless, but it's a cool car. And that looks almost identical. This is like the fatter, chubbier sister of the Idaho car. Alright. Hey! That taxi driver just called me a moron. Oh shit. Do we want to get the hang of this again? Oh yeah, that was an annoying thing about this game though. Pay and spray in this game cost um, a thousand to respray your car. At that time it was free, but normally it costs you a thousand. But in the others, thankfully, they put the price down to a hundred. I mean, they had to in some of the later games because you don't get as much money. I mean, in this game you seem to get shitloads. I've done one mission at the moment, I've already got more money than I had after doing ten missions in Vice City, sort of. Right, I gotta park this in properly. See, look, I'm on 5,500 already. Right, like I said, guys, I'm always gonna be saving after a mission because that's the clever thing to do. Oh no, you didn't. You, get out your car. This is why it's called Grand Theft Auto. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to go steal a cop car. Because stealing me a cop car is beneficial, because there's a shotgun inside. Don't know whether any of you know that. I mean, you are I'm going to know that, but anyone who's new to Grand Theft Auto is going in a cop car is going to get you a shotgun. Letting the cops know I stole their car. Uh, why am I singing something I heard off the radio? No, I'm not going to save the cop car because I can get it at any time. Okay guys, we've already done two missions. I could perhaps do another mission in this video, which I'm going to go do anyway. See, I want to get at least Luigi's missions out of the way today. Well, I will. He's only got about... Each character normally has four or five missions. Never not any more than that normally. You get the odd exception in this game. 
Like I think Donald Love towards the end of like six missions. And a cutscene. That's called a mission, but you don't actually do anything in it. Alright, Mick, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. You want some action from his regular girl, Misty? Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights. Go watch yourself. That's Diablo Turf. Then run her over to his garage and threaten and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Who does he take me for? Some sort of criminal who's just escaped from a police convoy. Where are we going? Uh, all right. Where's that hall bag? She's ugly. Who says you can trust me? I'm going to drive you into the ocean. <laughs> That's the great thing about video games. I can drive her into the ocean and then I can just load the game back up. And I'll be alive. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh shit, I'm terrible at driving it today. Alright, better get ready because there's some horrible driving missions in this game. Well, they're actually really good driving missions, sorry, but horribly difficult they are. Which also reminds me, guys, we're going to do all missions in this game, including phone booth missions. No, I do jobs for Luigi at the moment. Alright, I suppose we're going to save the game now and go then go on to the next part. So yeah, we've got Joey's missions now. Um, I think he's got... Oh, my taxi's still there. That's the great thing about this game. It adds a slight bit more realism that your car is still there when you go back to it. Sometimes in the other games you can leave a car, say, parked up beside me now, and then just go a couple of meters away and your car disappears. In this game it will still be there for ages, in whatever state you've left it in, which is really awesome. But yeah, this game's got like 11 years old now, I cannot believe it. Right. Um. Alright guys, I'm just going to stop the video right there, and as soon as it's done. Alright, we'll be right back guys.